losses stink, especially as a head coach. I think you kind of feel them a little bit more um, because you always go back over what could have been done. Did we, did we prep enough? Did we? Did I do this right? Did I do this right? And at the end of the day, you know, I think that's something that as a head coach, you kind of learn to, you know, take what you can from the game, but you have to let it go and move on. Everything hurts a little bit more when you're the head coach because uh, you just feel it. Like those wins are extra, extra great. The losses are extra salty, but you know, it, you kind of have to grow from it and, and keep getting better. I haven't mastered it yet, but <laughs> when I do, I'll let you know. My name is Whitney Frary. I'm the women's soccer coach here at Plattsburgh State. So I started my coaching career in New York. So I started at SUNY Cortland, uh, got my master's there. And then afterwards, I got a full-time position at Vassar College, um, was there for three years in a, as an assistant coach, and then ended up heading out to Minnesota for three, yeah, three seasons. There is my first head coaching position, but I always knew I wanted to come back east. The draw was always here. Um, and, you know, I knew the previous coach. I knew that Plattsburgh was extremely successful. You know, they, she, uh, Tanya had built such a great program. So when I got the call from her and did my research, you know, it seemed like all of the puzzle pieces fit in for kind of coming back to Plattsburgh. And then when I did my interview, it kind of realized that it was just a really good community, somewhere that I felt like that I could thrive as a coach coach but also the players um, their drive and, and you know their grittiness and just their ability that they had I felt like it was a place that I could really succeed as a coach and have the team succeed as well like I said Tanya had built a really great foundation um, but I think that it was ready for kind of like a change and maybe something new and that's kind of what I brought and um, from the moment on my interview when I I mean the entire team was there and I was chatting with them and I think that there was a an instant connection of what they wanted to achieve and how they wanted to achieve it and it, it aligned a bit with with how I wanted to achieve what, or what I wanted to achieve and how I wanted to achieve it so I think that that was really exciting for me um, and the minute that preseason started I think there was just this buzz of just electricity the the team was really excited about the drills that we were doing and what we were learning and and I was excited just about their willingness to to be on the field and kind of buy into to what I was saying and there's just this I don't know it's just been a really quality experience for me to transition a lot of times there are those kind of bumps in the road and we are only a month in so maybe later on but I feel really confident in our leadership in the program the players from you know, one to 30 have all been amazing. So it's been a, a really nice transition for me, at least. I'm Allison Seidman, I'm a fifth year and I'm a center forward. When Coach Ferry came in, I didn't really have any concerns. Like, I felt like it could be a new start for the team and not getting past semifinals, like in the four years that we had or that I had here, like I, I felt like kept getting that one more year and then a new coach, it could just be a good thing. It definitely took me a little bit to get like as close to her as I was with Tanya. Like obviously I'm still definitely not there. Having Tanya as a coach for four years, I mean I had the opportunity to get really close with her and kind of just like get coached by her by that long. So having Coach Whitney for only two months now, I mean it's definitely a little different. But I think right now we're in that point where like we know how to communicate with one another and she definitely like knows what to do to get me going. Like, confident enough to win these games. My name's Nicole Kingsley. I'm a senior and I'm a attacking midfielder. Definitely coming in with a new coach, there are some concerns about compatibility with the team. Um, but after having our first kind of meeting with her, we met with her for lunch and like got to know her more. Like we, I could tell it was going to be a good fit right away. I wanted to see a coach that would really bring us together because we needed that and we needed someone who was going to build up a big team mentality and just keep us rolling in the direction we were going and she definitely came in and did that so I would say she met the expectations I had. I'm Julia Ennis and I'm a senior goalkeeper. Uh, coming into this year I definitely had a few concerns with a new coach. It's just a lot of work to kind of lay down a new foundation and I wasn't expecting that for my senior year but um, I think at this point in the season, looking back, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. And I think 
having a new coach and learning how to unite a team in a whole different way for the first time um, was the perfect way to finish out a senior year and definitely taught me a lot of lessons that I'll take with me after my career is over. It took me a few weeks to get used to Coach Ferry and um, I think when me and my fellow captains were nominated and took on that role, uh, we definitely got a lot closer and the communication got a lot stronger and there was a bigger, bigger trust formed between us and Coach and the rest of the team. I'm Nora Fitzgerald, I'm a junior and I'm an outside back and forward. Um, obviously it's a, it was a little nerve-wracking getting a new coach just because um, they have a completely different like style of play and expectations, but um, she's exceeded all my expectations. She's just brought an abundance of energy and um, you could tell how dedicated she is and like wanting us to do better and just really has been pushing us to be our best. And we, we bought in right away. Um, Preseason allows us to like have that time to really connect because we don't have school going on and especially this year it's kind of like a whole new team. Um, losing a lot of players and uh, getting a lot of players and then with the new coach it was like just a fresh start so we were all just ready to buy into this like new chapter. I'm Alexis Patrick, I'm a freshman and I play center back. She made us all really comfortable like going into the season and the team is like a super like close knit group of girls so just like the team together and her it was like really easy. The first like few days and it was like we'd known each other for a while. So Coach Ferry coming in, like it was definitely clear like what she wanted from us and what she wanted to gain as a coach. And I think that she honestly just wanted us to prove to everyone else like what Plattsburgh actually like has to offer. I think that teams definitely doubted us, but her coming in, she just, like I said, like wanted us to prove ourselves. And I don't necessarily think that she just like wanted to prove ourselves in conference because outside of conference, she wants us to be just as strong as we are inside. And like touching on like the Middlebury game, like we lost two nothing, but she came in the locker room right after and was just so proud of us because that was probably the best we played at that time. And I don't know, I just think that she expects us to just play our heart out and obviously get the win when we do. So there's just a different type of player that you're gonna get going to a private liberal arts institution than what you're gonna get coming to Plattsburgh State. I think that I've appreciated the grittiness, the toughness that has come with every single player. You know, they're always competing. Uh, it's gonna take a lot to beat us. They're not just gonna kind of give up or, or think that it's just gonna be handed to them. And I think that that's something that I've really enjoyed working with every day at practice. I know they're gonna come out and grind and learn and, and have this kind of mentality that I look for in players. And I really, really loved that that's what I got when I came to Plattsburgh. So obviously the last three years with Tanya, like I started and I played like 90 minutes of every game and coming in with Whitney, like I didn't start and um, I still don't start and I, but I didn't start and I didn't see like a ton of minutes in games. So that took a huge toll on my mental health, honestly. And I was going through a lot in the beginning of the year, but then I turned it around and like I have improved so much as a player like this. I scored my first collegiate goal this year. like. I play an attacking position now where I used to play center defense and like I just turned it around and like I can see how I've grown with Whitney as a coach and I see how she pushed me as a player and like I'm so thankful for that as a senior because like I didn't obviously wasn't getting that with the last with Tanya like I wasn't being pushed in that way I got really comfortable and like I'm just seeing myself do things on the field that I didn't even know I was capable of which is like a great feeling even though I did I'm not in the same position I was in the past years. She, like, she saw something in me and she was like, yeah, you're an attacking player. And she gave me kind of the, she, I don't know how to describe it. She like instilled the drive in me to like want to be the attacking player. Cause like you can t take what, like her taking me, like not starting me and not playing me as much as like, oh, like she doesn't like me. But like, she just knew I was, had so much more potential. And she told me that and was like, I see you growing and like she wanted me to get there and like I'm really proud of myself and like proud that she was capable of pushing me in that way as a coach. The past four years I've played a couple different positions on the field like freshman year I was an outside wing, sophomore year I was an outside wing on both sides and then my senior year last year Tanya moved me to attacking mid and then that's where I thought I was gonna be this year but Coach Ferry had a different plan for me. She came in and was just like you're playing center forward and that's just what it's gonna be and I think at first I was definitely like really kind of confused and upset about it, but 
she made sure to tell me that it's because she trusted me to get the job done there and kind of just like told me that my skill set is for center forward and I think at this point like it is still tough but just having a new coach come in and kind of be like I trust you to do this and I know you can get the job done is just like a good feeling and I know that she like did this for a reason. Coach's expectations she kind of laid them out on day one when we got here it's you know figuring out how first and foremost how to be a team and I think that was probably one of the most important things we could lay out from the start. So it was kind of how do we form a dynamic that can win a SUNYAC championship because without that we don't stand a chance and I think as we went throughout preseason into regular season and then conference play I think that mentality of team first winning second is kind of what will bring us to that SUNYAC championship and I'm happy that coach laid that out from the start. Being a fifth year and like having the chance to come and play another season has been such a blessing. Like this year has actually been the best year of playing like for me like on this team. Like it's just been so happy and so we're just like so close and such a family and I think that's like the biggest reason why I'm so happy that I came back. But just the team in general, like we are so strong, like we're so focused at this point, like our momentum is just going up and I think we definitely have the potential and the skill to win a SUNYAC championship. I mean, I've been here for four years and we've never made it past the semifinals. I think even getting to that championship game would bring tears out of my eyes. Like, I just think that we have to want it as a group and if we want it, we will play like that and we will get the wins and win the SUNYAC championship. Ooh, right off the jump from preseason, like you could just tell we have a really talented team um, from our freshman to our fifth years. There's just an abundance of talent and it was just a matter of like, are we going to be able to like put this together to achieve the outcome? Because the end goal is to win SUNYACs. And um, so it was a matter of knowing that we're talented, but like remaining disciplined and not um, settling. Just because you have talent doesn't mean you don't have to work hard. Like hard work beats talent. So it was like applying that talent along with hard work. And like, we can definitely win the SUNYAC. Um, we did have a rough couple of games but recently, like, we've turned the switch, just, like, realizing that when we do work constantly hard for the 90 minutes, like, we get the result we want. So it's just a matter of continuing to do that each game. And so, as you touched on, we had a rough start and lost our first few SUNYAC games, which was definitely hard on the team and put our team to the test in a way because we, obviously, when you're losing, nobody's happy and nobody's, like, it takes a lot more energy to build each other up when we're losing. And I think that goes for any team. So when we were losing, it was something we all had to sit through and work through. And the ways we did that, like, honestly, Whitney was the best person for that because we never had someone that was like, okay, sit down in a room and figure it out and figure out what's going wrong and how we can fix it in our next game. And we did that. And I think we that's kind of what we needed all the other years because it hit the same point where we were all like frustrated, burnt out, but it was just so early in the season. And then we kind of all came together as a team, decided on what wasn't working and what we needed to fix, and then went out and just everyone started to switch their mentality and that they have to give their 100% every time they step on the field, because I think we were missing that. Like preseason, it started out super competitive. We got kind of like comfortable, because like we were used to Whitney now, we were comfortable with her. And then we had to like reignite that kind of winning mentality. There's definitely a lot of good memories that I've had so far this season, but I think all around just the energy that coach brings and tries to match our team with. I mean, we have these dance parties in the locker room before games and her cue to come in is playing our goal song, which is Hey Baby. I don't know if you guys know it, but. <laughs>
uh, she didn't that game, so we turned on Kendrick a few seconds later. Coach walked in, so yeah. <laughs> Despite the drought in conference play, you know my expectations are still very high of this team, and I do think that we can still achieve everything that we've wanted from day one of preseason. Obviously losing the first couple games in the conference wasn't what we expected or wanted, but I don't know, I feel like everything happens for a reason and we are at a point right now where we like are in playoffs and all we have to do is win one game to secure a home field for quarterfinals. So I think that what I thought in preseason, what's happening now is just matching up. I think for me, the season was, I don't know, I keep coming back to the word fun. Uh, I think being a first time, or with this being the, my first year as a head coach, I think you never know what you're gonna expect. And especially with coming to a program that's achieved uh, what they've achieved in previous years, uh, you never know where players' heads are at, where, you know, what the player, how the players are gonna respond to you as a coach, and I think that I enjoyed every second of it. I loved going to practice. I loved every single game. Uh, I loved the players. I loved getting to know everyone. And I think it just was a really great way to start my career here um, as a coach. And I think that that was something that was really enjoyable and fun um, that sometimes you don't get when you're getting into kind of like the first year as a head coach. I think that every year is going to bring different players, different style. Um, I think that how we played this year, kind of the tactics of it, was beneficial. I think now it's just kind of honing in on smaller details, um, focusing on kind of that team collective atmosphere, that playing as a unit. I think that we're just kind of now really focusing on, okay, what players do we have now? Uh, we have a really old, an older team. We have a lot of juniors that are going to be seniors that got a lot of minutes. We have some sophomores that got minutes as well. So, you know, kind of getting those first years up and running, but also bringing in a new class. I think it's an exciting time because we do have a lot of talent um, and being able to focus the groundwork that we laid this year and kind of building on top of that is something that I think will be really, really beneficial and kind of cool to see. Ooh, I don't know if I would ever walk away from like a loss that abrupt uh, feeling like, oh yeah, like we, we did it. You know, the team, one aspect of our team is that we're always going to work hard. And, and, you know, I would never doubt that the players left everything on the field. Um, I think that it just didn't go our way. I think we could have tweaked some more things. I mean, as a coach, you're always going <laughs> to think about six million different things you could have done differently. and different ways that you could have approached a game. Do we do enough in practice? Should we have done, should we have subbed differently? Should we have managed players differently? And I think that overall, kind of taking a step back and not focusing solely on one game, but looking at an overarching season, I that's what, as a coach, I have to do. I still have to work on doing that because you always, you know, it's always raw. But um, I think the season as a whole was a really successful season. 
Um, it just always stinks when it ends that way because it doesn't really do justice for what the player, the accomplishments the players had and the, the quality that we had. So, you know, I, I try to move on and move forward because the more you dwell on one singular game, it's just kind of like going to drain you for the rest of the whatever nine months until our next season starts. So I think I took some time, like reflected, and then took a step back and was like, all right, our season was good, and I want the players to, to really focus on that as well, is that we had a successful season. We had we had a great group of players, and, and that's kind of, it just kind of got taken away just by that one game. Having Coach Whitney for my last season, I would definitely say it was really good. She came in, kind of let us know her expectations, and the whole team just like took her in and played. It was no like question like, oh, can we not do this because it's a new coach. It was kind of like a fresh start. And I think most of the girls on the team like looked at it as a good thing. And she's definitely very educated with soccer. So, I mean, she did everything she could. And unfortunately, we lost. But definitely think she made a good impact on this season. We obviously lost in the Oswego game, and it was ended our season. Being a quarterfinal game, that was really hard for me as a senior because every other year, we've at least gotten to semis. And also to lose to Oswego was very confusing to me because we've always beat Oswego in normal play, like conference league play. And then to lose to them in a quarterfinal game was really, really tough. And I love my team and I know like everyone showed up and gave their most. At the end of the day, I think it was just a fact that we didn't work together and use like everything each of us could do individually together as a unit and that killed us and I saw glimpses of it throughout the season but I always going into playoffs I feel like we kind of pulled it together and this year it just didn't didn't happen. The last week of the game obviously was very upsetting. Um, we wanted to win and it wasn't the outcome we were hoping for and um, I feel like we gave it our all something it just like wasn't clicking and yeah, I think, we, yeah, we were hoping for that, like our, just us to come together and it just didn't end. Okay. Touching on the Oswego game, I, I mean, obviously I'm still about it. We should have had that game, really, honestly. We beat them two nothing in the first time we played them. It was a good game, but it wasn't anything like too challenging. And then I think that we were so fixated on the fact that we beat them and the fact that if we beat them, we would go see Cortland and I think that we should have just came to that game and just played it. And looking back, like I haven't watched the film and I probably won't ever watch it, but looking back, like just how I felt, I felt like no one was on the same page and we kind of just weren't playing together. So I think that going forward with this team, they need to figure out a way to come together every game, not just who it is and just anything that's going on outside of soccer, just forget about it. Come to soccer, the second you step on that field, like you play soccer and you win games. The season as a whole, I'd say, was just, it was fun. Um, I really enjoyed this season, like, on and off the field. Like, I, um, each, each person on our team really brought, like, their own, like, unique characteristics to the team and, like, energy. And Coach did also, which really just made us feel like an actual family this year. As a whole, I think this season, it was mostly growing in a lot of ways for the freshmen all the way up to the fifth years. There was a lot of different points where we had to take certain challenges. There was, for example, that kind of drought at the beginning of the season and we had to take the lessons from that, kind of learn how to move forward and that's something that we haven't really experienced in the past. So there were just certain elements and definitely towards the end, we just had to learn a lot about each other and ultimately, I guess just grow as a team and as a program and take what we set as a foundation and just build upon that throughout the whole season. I would sum it up as definitely a season that we grew, as, that I grew individually and as a team. I like grew a lot as an individual player in that it was a new coach 
and she looked at me differently as in I played a diff different position, I got different minutes, I played different games specifically, and she thought of me as having a different role on the team than Tanya did. Tanya thought of me as more defensive when he thought of me as more of an attacking player, so that was really cool, and I got to kind of like explore what I was capable of, so I grew a lot in that aspect. And then as a team, this is the closest we've ever been as a team, and we, I got to see glimpses as much as I saw glimpses of us not working together as a unit, I got to see us when we were in our glory and were absolute, like, unstoppable. And I just wish that would have shown through when we got to playoffs. But, like, I knew we were capable of it, and that was really cool to see because I'd never really seen that here in my last four years. I am happy it worked out the way it did because I think if we didn't have a coaching change, our team would have stayed very, like, stagnant like it wouldn't our team wouldn't have changed and something needed to change this season because we've been we've been playing the same way and kind of stuck in our own like I don't know how to explain it we're very comfortable and comfortable in the specific way that we played and our, each coach is going to coach you differently and I think we just needed someone to come in and be like hey you can play soccer differently and there's other ways to get the ball in the net. Having a younger coach this season I definitely helped because I felt like I can relate to her more Especially last year I was an attacking center mid and then she moved me to a center forward and she was able to tell me that that's exactly what happened with her last year of soccer. She was an attacking center mid and then her coach moved her. So just kind of having that, being able to relate to her on that kind of helped me with my confidence because she could give me tips on what she did to kind of just switch positions and I think that just having someone like closer to your age that you could talk to. Yeah, I mean coach obviously is young and isn't too far removed from being a player herself. So I think that was kind of a fresh perspective just because, I mean, over time the game has changed so much, but she's been here or been a part of the game very recently. So I think we were able to trust her perspective a little bit more in a way. And be like, yeah, she is a coach that was division three, has seen the national championship. Like, why shouldn't we trust in her? And why shouldn't we believe her? So I think that perspective was definitely something that was important to us this year. I think we definitely related a lot more to her because Tanya obviously could always say like I lived life like I did this I understand but like to talk to Whitney and like to see how emotionally connected she still was to the game like individually herself like was really cool and then to know that like she was just playing on a team like very recently was really like a relatable thing for us like on a one-on-one -on -one meeting it was a very different conversation um, talking about soccer skills, like soccer has changed since Tanya played in college. So having Whitney be able to be like, no, like this is this is some way we can do it. Like kind of introducing new ways to play the game and to beat teams was really cool. And we could relate to her in that way because we want to like develop and learn more. But yeah, I would say we definitely all related to her more. And we could also just relate on the little things. We could joke about the same things. We knew the same music, like just little details that you didn't really realize we didn't all relate on until when he came in and then we, it was that whole connection that we could all have with her. I don't know, you know, it's really tough because, you know, I've looked back at previous seasons that I've had not here and, you know, there's always those moments where you're like, you, you, you want it to be over and stuff like that and I just didn't want the season to be over and so to find one moment, like there's so many like small moments like bus rides home when like our team is, singing absolutely horrendously in the back of the bus like that's like to me that's just like so great and I, I just value the lead I think I really value the leadership that we had um, in those seniors that we had and, and just kind of like seeing the maturity of them um, being able to pull us out of kind of our losing streak and be able to win that game against Brockport and how we just kind of bounced back and immediately we're just kind of on a roll and I think I don't know, just going to practice and seeing the effort that we put in every day and how exciting it was for them. I, I just can't think of like a singular moment. I'm sure because we got rid of overtime, you don't have those like golden goal moments where you score like a winning goal and stuff. But I think, I think leaving the field after the Cortland and Geneseo games and how proud we were of how we played, even though the results weren't wins, I think that that's something that's really, really cool. Like you saw the, the confidence in the team. Um, and I hope that keeps going, that like there's no team that, that can beat us. Like we can win games, you know, we just have to put it all together. I think this past season, like, I actually have two stories, but the first thing that really kind of just 
made me so excited about the season was getting that goal against Cortland in the second half. Like I was able to flick it in with my head, and I think that tying that game like will just be something that I remember for the rest of my life. Um, Cortland's always been like a team that we are head to head with, and they're just not the nicest girls on the field. So I think our team just really wanted to come and beat them, and we trailed for most of the game. But being able to just tie that game for my team, I think that was just it was a great feeling. And then Brockport being able to score two goals and just have act, like actually good goals. Like it definitely helped me gain that confidence for the rest of the season. And I think that's another game that I'll just remember just because of how nice the goals were. Well, I first scored my first collegiate goal this year. So that moment was really like, just like, I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. Cause obviously I'm, my career is over. <laughs> and so being able to score in my college career was amazing. Cause I never thought that would happen. Cause I'd always was a more defensive player. Um, and I remember it was on, it was, it went from Kirsten and she passed it up to Allison and Allison flicked it over the top. And I just happened to be running around her, which I never would have ever been doing in any other time in my soccer career because Whitney for some reason just threw me up there. She was like, you can do it. So I got around Allison, got a touch and finished it and beat the keeper and the defender I was with. And I will never forget that. And I, that day I definitely got to see like a part of myself that I'm like, wow, I, like I've worked for that for 20 years and I just never used it because we've all practiced all these skills and you only use certain ones in a game. So for me to be able to like unlock that skill that I've had that I didn't really know, cause I never knew I could be that composed and finish in front of the goal like that, which was really cool. And it was exciting just to like have the feeling of scoring because like I, you expect always the same people to score and you're like really excited. But like for me to score is never scored. Like everyone went ballistic and it was just so fun. Yeah, I mean, I could talk about different moments this season that kind of stood out to me. But I think my top three, just because they speak volumes kind of to what we were trying to build from the start is one, Zoe Rice's 35-yarder. And I don't even know who we were playing, but one of her first games stepping on the field here. Um, Anna McDuffie's goal on senior day, um, being her first collegiate goal, which was just so special. And then Nicole Kingsley stepping up and scoring not one of her first goals, but three in one season was, it was just a testament, I guess, to what we believe our strength is. And it kind of surfaced like our belief in our depth and believing that no matter who it is, when it is, somebody can step off the bench and make a difference. And I think that, that concept and that idea will just propel this team to a whole new level next year. For goalies, it's like they make, can make a bunch of saves and then they let one in and it's like, oh, that one goal that I let in. But like throughout the season, um, both goalies have had great saves. And there was this one, one goal that Lauren saved and she just, I don't know, I feel like she was in the air for like so long and it was just like, it was sick save. and. I think everyone on our team was just extremely excited and hyped for her. Yeah, I guess, you know, to the to the team we had this year, I would say it was it was an amazing first year. I think that the heart and dedication that each player showed when we showed up to practice games, regardless of minutes on the field, off the field, bench players, field players, I think that the love for Plattsburgh soccer, you could see it. Um, in the locker room and I think that comes from your leadership and uh, having a really strong senior class, having some great fifth years coming back. I think that we had that and that led to us having such a successful season. And I think that as we move forward, they're gonna be remembered for that. And I think that regardless of the wins and losses, uh, programs are remembered and teams are remembered from how kind of they made their teammates feel and how they felt on the field, not in those wins and loss moments, but kind of outside of that. And I think that those three seniors, Anna, Julia, and Nicole, developed that and, and really honed in on that. And then you had your, your grad students in Kieran, Sam, Allison, and Kirsten, who I think just show, set the bar um, and kind of showed, took a year off and they didn't have to come back here and be able to come. So I think that I loved the team. I loved them a lot. I'm really excited and you know I've, I'm really excited for what's to come. Looking back on like the past five years here, I mean, I definitely think that I did all I could do and I guess that's all I could ask for. But I think this year, like I definitely think that there's things I could have changed in myself. I think gaining confidence early on in the season, I could have helped the team out more. And I think that kind of not 
being so fixated on certain teams that we had to beat and like their name, just like going out and playing rather than, oh, going out and playing Cortland, going out and playing Geneseo, like we need to beat them. So I think that kind of changing that mindset and helping the rest of the team change that mindset could have helped us win more games. But I mean, I'm proud of myself, so. I'm gonna start off with saying overall, I was very happy with my career here, but there's one thing I could change. I'm gonna say, like I've thought about this and I feel like in my um, middle years of college, like freshman year, I came in like guns blazing, ready to play, like wanted to get in the game and show like what kind of player I was. And then as I got comfortable, like Tanya and I like agreed on a lot of things and like she obviously played me a lot and so she put a lot of confidence in me, which was cool and I appreciate it. But it also with that came a lot of um, me being comfortable in games and in practices and kind of not growing as a player for like two, three years. And I felt that. And then towards the end of Tanya's time here, like she did start sitting me. She could tell that like I wasn't pushing myself anymore. And then when Whitney came in, it kind of like reignited that to a whole new level because she was like, you're an attacking player. Like, I'm going to push you to do that. Like, you're going to come off the bench and you're going to like, literally destroy it like you're gonna just bring up the energy and like that was a different type of confidence that she gave me in myself and kind of like pushed me to f like build it on my own it was like okay I have to prove myself and I have to go in each day and work harder and it I ended up paying off and I got to see like what I was capable of and I wish I did that earlier because then who knows what I could have been capable of three years later like it's sad that like I'm starting to like see all the pieces come together and see all the skills that I've learned over the years like all pulled together and be able to perform on the field, but only in my senior year, because then obviously I can't take it anywhere where if that happened sophomore year, then I could have like unlocked who knows what, like a new side of my scale, I guess. <laughs> and I never like valued that as much and being in that position made me value it so much and really understand like what it felt to be that player, to not have because you don't feel the confidence that like, oh, she starts me every time, like, she's confident I can get the job done. Like, she's like, okay, if we're screwing up, I'm confident you can go in and like score. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. like, okay. I mean, if we look game to game, I could go on and on about things I wish I did differently here and there, but um, I kind of have spoke with the other seniors and cap or the captains and seniors and fifth years. And I've learned throughout my career as a whole even before Plattsburgh that winning for so long was everything and I think when we look at Saturday and Oswego it's hard to it's hard to kind of put aside the I guess let down in a way but like I said to them and this is something that I'm going to take with me and be content with is we left every single field that we played on better than the way we found it and I think that was winning was the goal or a goal but that that is the ultimate goal and I think that's important for not just the seniors walking away, but first years up to juniors now, to kind of see that, see us embody that, and walk away with it. I can't wait for next season. It's like once the season ends, I'm kind of like, oh, we have to wait a whole year before the next one, because especially when you don't when, when you don't finish the way you want it. So I think this spring especially is going to be really important for us, just because it's going to be the first time we're not practicing with the seniors and fifth years. So it's going to be a that's it can be vital for how we play in the fall, um, especially the summer too. It's like what you do post -se off season really translates to on season, and um, especially with having a new coach, Whitney, Coach Whitney, um, this time could really be like extremely beneficial to us, and stepping into like a more leadership role brings, it's exciting, um, it also brings some stress because now it's like you have to be the ones to, that you're the younger people are looking up to. And I do feel like confident in my grade and myself that we're gonna, going to be able to do that and just really making sure that everyone feels, I think the biggest thing is making sure everyone feels welcomed and a part of something bigger than themselves. We had our team meeting last night and I think that Everybody's really ready to like keep moving forward. I think that especially with the off season and seeing what we need to improve on, I think that there's, um, you know, we laid out a bunch of different technical pieces because we don't get the time on the field with the players. 
I really hone in on, all right, what technical pieces can you work on your first touch here? You know, 1v1 defending, 1v1 attacking, that sort of stuff. So really focusing on that, you know, the strength aspect of it, um, being able to get in the weight room, and, and especially for first years, being able to get, you know, gain that muscle, gain that strength. Um, working on speed, agility, quickness. So just kind of all those little smaller aspects and those small details that then when we come back in the spring, we can kind of put together into those tactical pieces that we need to work on, I think is always great. Um, but I think they're ready, they're really excited. Um, I think that every new season, and whenever a new season ends, you know, a new one begins. And I think that they're really excited to keep moving forward. And like I said, we have a great group of players. Um, we have a great group of juniors that are gonna be seniors that I think are phenomenal leaders. So I think that that's something that's gonna really work well for us moving into the off season. Looking back on the season, there's definitely a lot of things I could say. I mean, I'm super proud of us for starting off our season so strong. I mean, r being ranked nationally, that's something that I don't think we've ever done in my four years. We might have, but. Um, so I think that was super cool. But unfortunately, we got in a little rut in the middle of the season, and I think some confidence issues definitely arise, and I think that that ultimately led to kind of like our downfall in the, towards the end of the season. I mean, I'm still proud about everyone. I think everyone did what they had to do, but at the end of the day, obviously, I wish that we would have got to the championship because I've never done that in the five years that I was here. But definitely think that the girls returning can do that. Message to the fifth years and seniors. Um, we are so lucky to have had you guys. Um, you have taught each and every one of us like how what work ethic is, what hard work ethic is, and you really set the stage for what Plattsburgh State Women's Soccer is. And we're gonna Hope to continue to live up to that. To the team, I would like to say that thank you for a great four years and thank you for being anything I could have ever asked for in a college team, supportive, like willing to learn, committed to the team, wanting to win, and just having being able to have fun along the way, because you don't you can't teach that. And like I'm gonna miss you all so much and I love you all. To the team, I just want to say that, one, thank you for everything. This has been a dream come true this whole career, but specifically this season. Um, before I go, I want to say to keep believing in each other, keep believing in every goal, every, every dream you guys have, because this team and this program, I, I know we'll see things so bigger and greater than we could have imagined. Beyond a SUNYAC championship, forget about that, they're going national. Um, yeah, kind of just all the best, good luck, and the sky's the limit. To everyone coming back, um, you never know what you're capable of, and just keep pushing yourself every day to see what this team could be capable of, because I know it's beyond what we've achieved, and I'm so excited for you guys to go out and achieve it. I'm just sad that I won't be there, but I know you can do it. So to all the girls returning, like all I have to say is you guys can do it. Just believe in yourselves and work hard. Work hard in practice. Work hard off the field to build those relationships with each other. Get that chemistry, because the chemistry off the field will translate to on the field, and you guys can do it, and you will do it. And to coach, I mean, thank you so much for coming and leading this team. And I know that you might be down for the loss, but it's not, it's not on you. And I know you will lead this team to a championship. Uh, to coach, I want to say thank you. Um, this, this senior season has been more than I could have dreamed of. And you played a big, big role in that. And in a way, you kind of brought back, I want to say, the life to this program and kind of fun to the sport. There wasn't one moment in this season that anybody dreaded going to practice because we genuinely enjoyed our time together and I think that's a testament to both your coaching style and your attitude towards the game and your, your love for this program. So I wish you all the best with this team and I know you're going to take this program so far. I would just say thank you for pushing me to be the player I didn't know I was capable to be. And I don't even know if you meant to do that, but. I'm so thankful that you came in and pushed our team and I can see you doing great things with the program and I know you guys are going to achieve great things while you're a coach here. 
Yeah, so keep it up. <laughs> My message to Coach is thank you for this season. Um, we're so lucky to have you. Uh, although it hasn't worked out the way we intended and wanted to, um, I think we definitely have laid a great foundation and base for next year, and there's big things to come. For the team, for what's to come, I'm excited for for what we have to build. I'm excited for what we're building upon. I think that we have such talent and learning from this year and compounding onto next year. As we each year is a clean slate, and we have some some talented players, some passionate players, and some dedicated players that are going to lead us into you know setting records and and hopefully getting a SUNYAC. But all in all, have, repeating the season that we enjoyed it and we enjoyed each, enjoyed each other and being able to step away from a season and, and feeling that I think is something that I'm really excited for. I think that we got, we're coming for the SUNYAC. I think people need to know that. And I think the team is ready for that, um, especially after, after chatting with them. So 